Hi everyone. You know, when you get a headache, do you think of, oh, I have to fix my limb system? No, we don't. And really, we have to start, if you have pain in your head, and it could be headaches, you have them once in a while, you know, most people have that, but there are some people who are living with daily headaches. Number one, if you have an onset of a very bad headache, a severe headache, we always want to get that checked out. Uh, it could be something serious. So again, if you have sudden onset, extreme pain in your head, go get that checked out by a physician. But if you're having ongoing headaches, which many people have, or even migraines with auras, this really is congestion, right? We feel it in our head. Some people say their head's gonna explode. The lymph system, think about this, when someone has lymph nodes removed in their arm, the arm can fill up because the lymph flow can no longer come out of the arm as efficiently. That same thing is happening in our head when we get headaches and migraines. Again, I'm not saying this is the only thing, but it is a major contributing factor. Last year, they found lymphatic vessels in the brain. So we know there's a direct relationship between lymph flow, cerebrospinal fluid coming out of the brain, and the lymph system. So when our shoulders back up, and this has a lot to do with it, most people don't realize that our major lymph drains are right here in our neck. One little vessel on either side of our neck has to take all the lymph fluid that's coming out of the head and all of the lymph fluid that's coming out of the body one vessel on either side. So it can get congested or acidic or tight and not function. And when that happens, then acid waste can build around your neck and shoulders, constricting them, making them tighter and limiting circulation out of your head. So we really have to look at how do we improve our limb system. Number one, posture. If I'm sitting slouching, we are really backing up this plumbing system that must clean us. So we have to sit straighter. And this is something I see in people who don't feel well. They sit and they slouch. So we have to understand our body and our lymph system is a plumbing system. Major lymph drains for the lymph are right here. If we slouch at all, we really don't flow as well. Second is dehydration. Most of us, even many of my clients tell me, I drink water. Well, I'd like you to check how much water you're drinking. Do this for me and let me know. For the next few days, Check your water consumption. If you drink out of a certain container, measure the amount of ounces and really track. You'll be amazed. You may think you're drinking quite a bit of water, but many people are really only drinking maybe 50 to 60 ounces of water. And if we're taking medications, if we're having an acidic diet, if we have stress, if we have inactivity, then we need more water in our body to help flush waste and toxins out. Also, you know, our limb system really is a river. So activating it, getting a, a specific lymph drainage therapy, what I specialize in and what I develop is lymph practic. Now, I specialize in working with a lymph brain connection. For 23 years, I've understood that there were lymph vessels right outside of the brain in the meninges. We've all heard of meningitis. Uh, the meninges are membranes that surround a brain. Well, so I've worked with those for 23 years and helped many people with headaches, migraines, fogginess, not thinking well. Uh, and it really has to do with just improving flow. When we improve the neck, when we improve the uh, lymph flow in the face, even in the mouth, I'll put a glove on and gently drain under your tongue where we have lymph nodes. And many clients who come to me with neurologic Lyme or they can't think, they're having fogginess, chemo brain, uh, major headaches or migraines, they feel lymph flow from the first session in their brain. They go, wow, they can actually feel it. Understand that our tissues in our body, when they get slightly acidic, they actually constrict. And this can happen to our brain. We know in Alzheimer's, as the brain fills with B amyloid plaque and tau protein, that the brain can constrict like a raisin. So we want to keep circulation going in the brain. And it really has to do with the lymph system, because the lymph system is a secondary system that must complete circulation. And we ignore it. So again, simple ways, posture, eating a little more alkaline diet, you know, I always talk about that, and I'm not a vegetarian, but we have to understand the importance of eating vegetables and fruits to clean our body. 
where we're eating wheat, where we're eating uh, pasta, bread, we're eating meats, we're eating even spinach is acid forming, uh, so we want to mix that with more vegetables. Uh, and we're having uh, drinks like tea or lemonade and uh, many of these processed drinks or beer, wine. These things make us acidic inside. So we have to counterbalance that. So it's not about being perfect. It's really learning that you have control over your headaches and migraines. Number one, never stop medication because that would make more problems. Go to your doctor and say, listen, I'm going to change my diet. I'm going to put some positive steps into action, and I'd like to be able to wean off my medication as I feel better. That's the smarter way to do it. Never stop a medication directly. And then start putting steps into action to make yourself more healthy. Wake up in the morning, have a big glass of water instead of a cup of coffee. You know, I'm not saying not have the cup of coffee, but maybe put some coconut milk in it or a little bit of baking soda to cut its acidity. Have some fruit in the morning. Have some oatmeal with raisins. You know, often I like to have bacon and eggs on a roll. But if I have that every morning, then I'm making myself acidic. So often I have oatmeal with raisins and some fruit, which really can uh, fulfill you and help to make your body more alkaline. That's really what we have to think of. When we're more acidic in our body and we spend $50 billion a year on antacids and Prilosec so we know we have an acid problem, it constricts our lymphatic system, a system that's meant to clean your body, your brain, your digestion, your, you know, your eyes. Every part of your body must be cleaned by the lymph system. And when it can't, when it becomes interfered with from excess waste or acidity, then that area suffers and it fills with its own waste. So if I can help you understand how to help your headaches and migraines, even if you have congestion and pain in your head, give me a, uh, send me a text or contact me at osipinskihealthacademy.com and I'll shed some light on uh, the lymph system and the brain connection that will really change your life. If you're not in my area, in Phoenix, Arizona, Scottsdale, Arizona, contact me for coaching because speaking with me a few times will really help you understand how to use this information uh, more effectively and faster so you don't have to learn it on your own. Again, contact me at osipinskihealthacademy.com if I can help you with your headache, migraines, or pain in your head. Thank you.